today we're talking to Paul Horan from Horan and Bird Electrical. Now Paul, with increasing electricity costs, growers are starting to consider whether solar might be a viable option. Can you tell us when using solar becomes economically viable? Yeah, yeah, it's very important to uh, to make sure that it is viable because it, it it's a, a very economical decision when used right. Um, you're looking for high yielding pumps, so solar will make power for you every day. And if you're not pumping, you're not saving money. So the more days you pump, uh, the more power that you save. Um, so it's it's important to get the right size system to match the amount of days that you pump. Now the idea of solar is to save money on your electricity cost, isn't it? Not to make money through the feed-in tariff. Yeah, ab absolutely, you, you're saving money now, you're not making. The 44 cent feed-in tariff is done and dusted. Um, now solar is just saving you. you. The use of solar now, you use it to beat ergon power into your pump. So the more solar that you can use for that pump, the less power you pay to ergon energy. And is there a number of days a year that it starts to kick in to become economical? Uh, obviously, 200 days plus, it is very economical to use a solar system. Um, 100 days and under, it, it is viable, but it's not that great. Um, it will save you money, but when you're looking for return on investment, uh, it's not as great as if you're a 200, 300 day pumping period. And is there any size limit on the pumps? Can you put a solar system on any size pump? Yeah, you can. Uh, the size of the system really depends on approval from uh, Ergon Energy or your, your retailer. Um, there's a lot of factors that go in to having the size of a system and that depends on Ergon Energy's network. So if the transformer's too small or the cabling's too small, Ergon may not allow you to have the size system that you're really looking for. So there's an approval process for that and uh, th that's how it works. Ergon has the last decision on what size system you'll get. And Finally, I guess, if growers uh, wanting to go to solar, what's, what should they do? They talk to someone who has had solar or find a specialist in the, the industry? Is that yeah, absolutely. Talk, talk to a specialist, um, do your research, look at the quality of company that you're dealing with. Um, it, it is important that you have data. Like, if you really don't know how many days of the year that you are pumping, um, you're taking a guess. So what you can't afford is to take a guess on a solar system. Um, that isn't going to save you the money that you require. Uh, and it's an important investment and it needs to be used wisely. Um, so if you can't trust the people you're dealing with, um, you could get caught out. It is really important that the company that is sizing your solar system and selling you the solar system has taken into account all the data that really matters and that is how often you use your pump. Um, you don't want to be oversell the solar system. There's no point buying a 20 kilowatt solar system when you only really need a 10. And you could get caught out of people just trying to sell you something that you really don't need. Okay. Great, thanks very much for that. Not a problem.